Howdy, howdy, howdy. How's everybody doing on this fantastic Sunday? So when you pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. I am Becky Arnett Carmis, your independent designer of Chalk Couture. And you have found me um, on my business page on Facebook, Crafts by Becky and the number two, or either you're checking out my YouTube channel. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're watching the replay, then just put replay in the comments so I know you stop by. So tonight I'm going to be playing around with a porch laner. Did anyone take a guess on which saying I'm going to use tonight? I asked if anybody knew what I was going to use. You know we're going to use one out of the new catalog, right? We just had our spring summer catalog. Just went live on the 2nd of February, so we're using one of those. So these were our options that we could use. We've got our welcome. This is a big boy. This is um, an 18 by 24, a size D. Of course, these are top couture. Or we have another one that is bless our home. Also a size E. So which one of those do you think we're playing with tonight? Are we going to do a welcome? Or are we going to do a bless our home? Any guesses? Any guesses? So what we're going to do first is we're going to wax the board. Um, I think I got this out of my car. This is um, a fall one that came home out of my vendor, vendor booth. And we're just going to play around with the back of it, right? Who doesn't want a two-sided board for your front porch, right? Just have a little fall on one side and then everyday decor on the other side. So that's what we're doing. Let me bring you down and bring you down. Let's see, I had to move into the eating kitchen because these boards are a little long for the craft room. So, like I said, this is um happens to be a fall board that I had, like I said, it was up in the vending booth and didn't sell, so I brought it home and we're gonna play around with the back of it. So I grabbed our old, my old paste I used to use before Top Couture started doing their own paste. So since this is a big project, we're just gonna use this. So I'm just gonna smear some wax on here. This is a wood surface. So wood is porous, so you should always apply a little bit of wax on it. That's gonna save your transfers. Um, also, it's going to give you a little barrier so that your paste isn't seeping through that porous wood. And every now and then, if you have a little bit of an oops moment, sometimes you can salvage it and correct it. So it works for a lot of different reasons. You love when you make porch signs. Well, that's what we're doing tonight. Doing a porch sign. I actually have a bathroom sign on order that someone wants, um, a little three foot sign that says bath. So I stained that one today as well. So I've got that one about ready to rock and roll. Now this one we're gonna do with one of our new transfers. So I just put a little bit of wax on here. Now what I like to do with my wax is I let it sit here a little bit and then we'll come back with another rag and we'll kind of wipe off that excess and then we will rock and roll. So there we go with our wax. And that would be my lovely dogs barking. Okay, so now this is the one we're playing with tonight. Yes, bless our home. How about that? That's what we're playing with tonight. So this one's an 18 by 24, so it's a big, a big boy. He's a big boy. Now we've got cut lines on here. So you see all of this white. These are all cut lines, so we're going to cut it apart. So it's not going to be an 18 by 24 by the time we get done with it, right? It's going to be a lot smaller than that. So these adhesive back transfers are reusable. You can get at least 8 to 12 uses out of it. So, you know, if you're a crafter 
or a vendor. You can make lots and lots and lots of projects off of one transfer. So this is an awesome way to make projects for yourself, to sell. So we're gonna cut this bad boy apart. So this transfer retails for $39.99. Once I'm done tonight, I will um, go see if I can attach what we call a cart link up at the top. That'll have all the supplies that you need to make this. So I will see if I can put that link together for you and I'll throw it up at the top once I'm done. So we're getting ready to get some of our paste is getting ready to go back into stock this week. I know somebody had asked me about the paste. We've had a lot of our chalk paste has been out of stock. That's because we are changing to our creamy, dreamy consistency. And so those are coming out like in separate pushes where they're pushing out, you know, a few, few colors at a time. So this week, keep in the lookout. Once I know, I will share with you guys and let you know when I know and what colors are coming out. So be on the lookout. It's summer coming this week. Okay, so we've got all of our transfer has been cut out now. So let's go back to our board. Now this is a three foot board. Um, these boards are about 10 inches wide. That's just the size I prefer. Now, some of these letters here are a little wider than, say, our last um, manuscript words that we had. So, some people kind of use um, boards that are a little thinner. I just like the 10 inch one personally, I just think it looks good. So I just came back with a clean rag and I just wiped off the excess of that wax that we applied. And then we're going to kind of look at our placement of these bad boys. Look at our placements. I feel like I've got some wax on the back end of that somewhere. But this guy would so fit on a four foot board. I normally do my welcome signs or four foot. It's my typical size that I use. But I thought this would fit really good on this one, but it's gonna be a little tight, but it will fit. It's gonna be tight, but it will fit. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna get a fuzzing cloth. And these are big giant stickers, right? They're adhesive back stickers. So I like to think of them as big giant stickers. They're adhesive back transfers. So that is fabric right there. That is not a stencil, it's a silk screen. Can you see that fabric right there? And then we're, what we're gonna do is called fuzzing. Fuzzing is where you're putting it on our fuzzing cloth and you're just kind of loosening up that adhesive back so it's not super sticky. For chalkboard, I normally fuzz it about two times, but since this is wood, I'm gonna fuzz it about three times. And then we're going to apply it on our board. Just kind of eyeball it, kind of press it down. Primarily, you wanna make sure this big silk screen area does not move on you. If you see movement on here, you need to press it and make sure it's not gonna move. So some people take one of our squeegees and just, whoa, a little yellow on there. And just kind of do that. See if you can kind of get rid of any extra. So I like to use my fingers and see if I see any movement. That looks pretty 
really good. And we're just going to do a traditional white on this. <clears throat> you could do it whatever color you wanted to because it's your home, de home decor, right? That's what's great about home decor is you can so totally customize it to what you want and what colors that you want to bring out. You know, if your front porch was blue or red, you know, you could so paint this board white and do the lettering in red, or you could have a red board with white, you know, whatever, whatever. That is what's super great about DIY. I meant to get my blow dryer and I did not. I'm going back over there, grabbing that excess back into my jar because we're thrifty crafters. Y'all ready? Heal and reveal time. Just like that. That simple. That simple. And I might have to disappear really quick and get a blow dryer because we're going to do a little bit of overlay in there and I don't want that to be wet. So pardon for one quick moment. Whoa, Nelly. Cord in the way. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. Yes, ma'am, you do need this one. This one is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Bless this or bless our home. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do fuzzing. Now, if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can always use, you know, like a bath towel, a hand towel. If you're in a pinch, you could use a shirt, a pair of blue jeans, just anything to pick up a little fuzz to make that sticky so it's not crazy sticky. We're going to figure out our placement because remember, this is going to be pretty tight. So, I want to make sure... And I'm an eyeballer, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Some people get out a little measuring tapes. If you're like a serious OCD -er. Get that squeegee. Now this is a clean squeegee here, not the one with the white on it. I've got two squeegees. I've got one. Since we've got such a big silk screen area here. And you know, you could so use the four inch handled squeegee. He would be awesome for this project, so he'll knock him out super fast too. I almost feel like I need a little bit more water in my white, but I left my water back in the craft room. <clears throat> I just done a Facebook party. I just moved my phone stand that holds the iPad and, you know, got my supplies that I was going to need to come in here. I didn't grab everything. Disadvantages of moving to different locations to do different crafts. To 
picked up a little bit of that E. I don't know if you can tell, I took up a little bit of it. My blow dryer back in the craft room has got a little bit more power than that boy does. Of course, we've got our brand new heating tool that just came out, out of the new catalog. I've only ordered one of those so far, and it's currently possibly a team incentive for my team members, so I can't use it yet in case. They want it. I don't know, God, if you guys saw that last month, February, I ranked up to Master Mentor. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Because it took everybody to get me there. Thanks, my customers, my sheer folks, my team members. Takes everybody to make that rank. You gotta have your volume and selling. I have to have folks on my team that rank up for me to rank up. So congrats for that. That's why I've been sitting at a leading mentor for a while. So for me to move up anymore, I had to have some of my team members rank up to get me there. So if this looks like something super fun that you might be interested in, chalking is so much fun. It's so easy, it's so simple, it's a great de-stressor. You know, we all need de-stressors, right? Some people come home and drink wine, some people run. We all have our de-stressor. So chalking is a great de-stressor, a great way to share your creativity. You know, why not do it and make money? So I look at it. So if that's something of interest to you, let's chit chat about that. I would love to help you out. Get you some information, you know, let's chit chat. We've got a business opportunity page. I can put you in, let you kind of look around. just making sure the top is dry because my transfer is kind of hitting the top of it. We're fuzzing about three. Ah, oh, man. Twisting my transfer. Let's get it unstuck. Get it unstuck. So yeah, our business kit in a box is $99. You get $250 worth of chalk wonderfulness. That comes with seven transfers, five jars of paste. You get surfaces, you get chalkable chips, you get that Aiden porcelain coated magnetic chalk board, which is the bomb diggity. You get to hang out with me more. Okay, let's grab us some white. So I'm thinking for tonight's share word. Oh, 
is what's going on with that. It's going to be Bless Our Home. So if you're gracious enough to share this over to your timeline, come back and put hashtag Bless Our Home is our share word. You can share this video replay live once per day. Today is Sunday, so this contest ends on Tuesday. Tuesday at six o'clock, so you can share it today. Monday, Tuesday, you can go back and watch Wednesday night's live. It's my game starts on Wednesday. So Wednesday and Sunday is when I go live. So you can look at Wednesday night's live and get that share word, and then you can share that one as well. Because remember, you can share once per day, both, both of my lives. Contest ends at six o'clock central time, and then you can catch me at eight o'clock p.m. and we will do a share drawing for our weekly share winner for that week. All you need is one entry, but the more you share it, the better your odds. Better your odds. And then tomorrow, uh, me and all my share winners from previous games, because we do this um, once a week, then all my winners for the month, we jump over to the VIP page and we do a balloon picking party for prizes. So that's going to happen tomorrow over on the VIP page. So if you want to come hang out and watch all the balloon picking party prizes winners, we're doing um, December, January, and February. Yeah, I'm that behind. I'm that behind. December, January, and February. All my share winners from those months, we're gonna be over on the VIP page at eight o'clock p.m. Central Time. So come hang out and watch, see how it works, and then you kind of join in and start playing for March. So you can be in on the next one. Super easy. All you gotta do is hit that little lovely button that says share is all it takes. why it could so use a little bit of water. It is dry. Our consistency of our paste needs to be um, Greek yogurt consistency. So this is drying out. So it's a little on the drier side, but you know, like I said, all my water is back in the craft room. We're just making it work. We're making it work. And of course, we've got our creamy, dreamy new paste formula is has started coming out. We've got the white in stock. Um, our Club Couture members have the option of picking a triple pack, one triple pack for 25% off. So if you're a club member, go jump over to the online store, put in your account number for your club membership, and then take a look at those triple packs. That's our March special for club members. If you're not a club member, you can be. $19.99 per month. You get an exclusive transfer, three pay singles. You get all that delivered to your home for free each month. It's happy mail. We all deserve a little happy mail, right? And then you get in on all the club member specials, their deals. They get flat rate shipping for anything else they want to order out of the online store. Y'all ready to see what we did? Are you ready? With a new formula, not need to be spritz, spritzed with water. Not as much. It may eventually need to, need to have the water in there. It's going to be more like the consistency of the shimmers. You know how the shimmers come really creamy and dreamy. You very rarely ever need to put water in the um, shimmers. So, it's going to be a lot thinner. It's going to dry a lot slower. So, you're going to be able to change out like those multicolor projects, you're gonna be able to go a lot further than you used to be able to before it would dry. So we're all gonna be like on a new learning curve, on learning on how long that you're gonna be able to do before you have to pull it up. 
So very excited to get some of that in. I haven't got any in yet. Here we go. Bless our home. Bless our home. There we go. We made that tonight. And we made it in like 25 minutes. I have a little bit of a hiccup on the bottom of that H. I'm going to let that dry really good. And let's see if we can kind of fix that just a little bit. I'll do that with you guys. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's bring you down again. Let's hit at that with a blow dryer. What did I do with my blow dryer? boo-boos with um, everything dry. I thought I got my detail tool. Did I not get my detail tool? I swore I got my detail tool. Guess I didn't. So let's see if I can make my own detail tool with this paste scraper. So the detail tool is really nice because it's got that really sharp end on it that's really good for scraping this. So remember it dries to a matte white finish. So then you can take that detail tool, that, that side of it, or your face scraper, since that's what we're using here. And I'm just scraping off that little part that bled a little bit underneath the transfer. It just means I didn't have it down really good, you know, because with porous, and let's take us a little disinfectant wipe here. Let's get it so it's not getting on the white. So you gotta be careful you're not getting this on the white, otherwise you're softening that paste up for that white. Just kind of run across that bottom, kind of scratch off that excess down there. Remember, it's chalk. Now, when it comes to these porch, porch leaners, you know, they're gonna be, I tend to put mine outside underneath the covered porch, so I don't really worry about it too much. But, you know, once it dries, come back on it with like a polyurethane, spray it with a polyurethane, probably one or two coats, and then that's gonna weatherproof it. That'll weatherproof it since it will be outside in the elements. So there we go. This is a three foot sign. So three foot tall. This one happens to be 10 inches wide. And we used Bless Our Home Transfer out of the, um, the new catalog. And we used Bright White Paste. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This happens to be our share word. Hit that share button so you can enter my weekly little drawing over here on Facebook. And there you go. Y'all have a wonderful night, and I'll catch y'all later. Y'all take care.